Everybody wants to see this match. Yeah. <laughs> and it's one worth seeing. The Muslim, Stefano, you can call them ladder heroes, you can call them evil geniuses. The reality is, though, they are both very talented, Zergs and Terran. And uh, good friends beyond this, too. It's worth knowing they did have some nice things to say about each other, both in lobby and on Twitter. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is the WCS Season 2 qualifiers. This is the second qualifier, and this is the last qualifying match. One of these two will move on to Challenger League Season 2. The question is, who's it going to be? Spawning in the top left corner of the map from Evil Genius is kind of retired. It's going to be the Pink Zerg player, Stefano. And in the bottom left, we got our purple Terran player also playing for Team Evil Geniuses. It is the Muslim. All right, so the Muslim, we got to see some really cool stuff with him yesterday. Rifkin, Rifkin, mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is his SUV doing? That is an early SUV. Uh, is that he's really gonna 11 11 in the middle of the map? He'd just be scouting, thinking is Stefano's he, gonna do cheese. I, I think I mean, he's gonna do it, man. If you throw an 11, yep, there it is. <laughs> he's gonna put it down right here. Unfortunately, wow. this isn't going to be on the right half of the map, but it's still a lot closer than coming from his base directly. So if he is going to 11-11 blindly in a four-player spot map, first off, the Muslim has got some balls. <laughs> but secondly, yeah. this isn't... Oh, man. I don't know how well this will work. 11-11s classically don't happen on Frost because of the lack of scouting information. Yeah. I think that's definitely going to play into it. It's definitely holdable because of, you know, how long these marine it's going to take these marines to get to Stefano's uh, base and, you know, all the, yeah, all the scouting into Muslim has to do. So there's a lot of different factors that, you know, can make the Zerg able to hold even when 50 notching as we see Stefano do here. So it's definitely holdable, but, you know, it's going to come down to control and reaction. But, yeah, this is ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? On top of this, too, we had a very fun sub. Uh, speaking of Stefano, we got Stimfano. I guess that's like a hybrid fusion of Stefano and Terran. The Muslim versus Stefano. Whatever it is. Thanks for the sub, man. Uh, but, man, the Muslim is going to uh, be very unlucky. But, it, oh, if he sees the Overlord, he'll know where Stefano spawned. But will he see yeah, the Overlord? Oh, he didn't see that. I think he's going to miss it. I'm watching this vision. He's just really going to miss it, maybe? 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 maybe, maybe. He's going to miss it. Oh, my God. Oh. He's oh going to miss twice, and this is really unfortunate because the power that comes with the 11-11 yeah. is getting there before the hatchery is complete. Stefano will actually complete this hatchery, and now this 11-11 is completely goofed up. Yeah. It's going to be hard to pull this off, man. I'm not Actually, you know what? He might still be able to put a bunker and range it before the creep spreads, though. That SCV is on the right way. He has to put it down yeah. pretty much right away, though. Oh, he's yeah, putting he it further back. <laughs> this is the safety one. This makes sense. You oh. do this... You do this so that the marines can't get cut off by the drones, but he's got to get the other one in range before the creep spreads yeah. out too far. Otherwise, there's no point in doing this. Yeah, I think he's going to be able to, but this is going to be so interesting to see. I've seen <laughs> Look the at Muslim 11-11s <laughs> panel so many times, but I have no idea how this is going to go. Look at that rally of marines, though, coming across the map. That's a lot of marines. Yeah, it is. But Link's already out. <laughs> just three SCVs pulled over there too. I, I yeah. he definitely meant to pull SCVs into this, and this is a map too where you can wall off entirely, but not with the creep spread the way it is. Uh, let's not forget, high ground could be actually really great if you got a queen up there to just kind of sit and chip away at the bunker. Put a spine collar on that ledge as well. This is a difficult. This is a difficult 11-11 to pull off, and the spine collar is on the way here for Stefano. The queen did kill the SCV there from the high ground, or one of them at least. That's so true. Muslim does find his three SCVs as well, or he does realize. Are they on the way? Yeah, they're on the way here. Yeah. Party train high! Woo, woo. So, I mean, he's gonna get the hatch. That's, you know, the most important thing. Stefano's gonna wanna try and hold this off, that's for sure. Oh, this is gonna be so hard to hold off, though, because there's four SCVs repairing this bunker. This does not go down easy, and there's even a backup bunker behind this. So the SCVs yeah. don't even have to fear for their lives, but they do have to repair this if they want to finish off that hatchery. It's getting low, but it's not quite dead yet. A little bit ballsy trying to draw the attention of the spine car with the marines. Backs up, gotta hide those inside the bunker. SCV is gonna fall on this hatchery. Is this hatchery gonna live? No way! Nice, nice micro by uh, the Muslim. Looks like uh, it's getting really close. Two SCVs still alive though, so the repair is really important. 34 Looks links like have died so far holding this off, so even in the end, Stefano's thrown a lot away. The Muslim doesn't have a lot of SCVs behind this. He's building a natural base though, which is really weird to consider. And looks like he will barely get this hatchery in the end. Wow. So nice, nice micro by the Muslim at several points during this attack. He does get the hatch. And yeah, that expansion is pretty quick. He's got how many workers? 16. That's not too bad, considering he's making his expansion right now. 
if these queens had died too, that would have been way worse for Stefano. Keeping three queens alive yeah. is nice, but they're still not safe yet. These are so close to dead. One volley from the Marines can finish Indeed. off pretty much all of these queens. Uh, Zergling's going to be cutting back into that further away bunker. Getting the creep tube was a really nice touch too. That allows the spine card to stay out here, but uh, I don't know if he can get this new hatchery up. He needs to, of course, but I don't know if he can. Queen falls, doesn't have energy for transfuses, sadly. Hatchery going to be canceled, and Stefano... Oof. It's kind of too late to fall back to one base, right? Like to do some sort of weird Nidus counterattack, or I don't know. It's just it's too late. Yeah, I think so. The Muslims, you know, infrastructure is gonna be, you know, getting established more here in a second with this economy getting better. So yeah, I don't think Stefano is in a position to do that. But oh, the Muslim is doing this well. <laughs> I love that this came off of the most awkward two racks ever with like the latest scout in the universe. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised. I thought Stefano would most likely be able to hold because of how long the Marines had to go, but... Right? The, yeah, the Muslim just... I mean, he mic microed well, has to be said to Muslim. He just, you know, controlled the SUVs well, the Marines well. And, yeah, maybe Stefano needed to pull his drones right away, like, chase the Marines down, I'm not quite sure. Ooh, that's a bold spine crawler to try and burrow like that. If he can get down, it'd be great to have, but he's going to need to transfuse it if he wants to keep it alive. Link's trying to keep the Marines away from the bunker, but there's already four Marines inside that bunker. Yeah, those Marines in the bunker are doing a lot of damage there. Oh, God, look at the resources lost. 68 Link's dead at this point. Wow. Oh, he's going to try to yeah. reposition again. This is so bold. He doesn't know how many Marines are waiting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it's this one shot that's, you know, pushing this back. But, I mean, the Mustang is just getting... Quite a header. He's got the factory finish now, and you know mining from his expansion. So the Muslim is getting into a really nice position for sure. Okay, so Stefano's kind of stabilized for now, but the problem is, as you pointed out, the Muslim's got that natural base up. He's mining. Stefano's actually supply block, surprisingly enough, and he's not gone for that one base all in, which I'm a little bit curious about because that's that's like the most common reaction I think you see to like two racks is that fail. You know, you just you either go for a lot of roaches or you try and go for bailings or you try and go for like a night swarm, but like. Stefano's actually trying to play this out, which I'm a little bit worried about. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for sure. I mean, one thing you can do is, like, you mine gas in your main a lot, and you can get, like, you know, I don't know, like, 1-1 one, one upgrades or something, like, quite early, or Infestor tech, I don't know, something like that. You harass with Infestors. There's a few different paths, uh, but, I mean, yeah, uh, one path that is quite common is the Nidus, but, yeah, Stefano just, he's taking a third. He's gonna go full macro here. So what do you think? Okay. Your experience. You've been 11 11, I'm sure. I mean, you don't get to Grandmaster and never be 11 <laughs> 11. What have you had <laughs> exactly. the most success with? Well, I mean, I. The Knight is, as you said, that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, it kind of, I guess, depends on, you know, if you can get rid of the. Like, how fast you can get rid of the bunkers. If, if the Terran commits and makes, like, four bunkers right away, or, like, five bunkers, six bunkers, then I'll be like, you know, I'm not gonna try and break that down with just one gas, Ling Bane. So, you know, either I'll just go for the Nidus, or, you know, you can go for the upgrades like Stefano is doing and kind of macro out of it. But in this scenario where the Muslim didn't... Uh, I mean, he didn't overcommit, but he still traded so well. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Stefano could have done. Uh, he would probably have been better off to do the Nidus, like, super early on, or, like, do something from one base, like you said. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a hard situation to... Judge. The, the spine cars are kind of nice to have in a third base on the way, but I mean, he's down to workers, he's down in army supply. He just has absolutely nothing he can really yeah. do at this point. And the best bet for him, or his, it sucks to say this, but Stefano's best hope at game number one here is making sure the Muslim makes a mistake. And that's never something you want to rely on as a StarCraft 2 player. You want to be, you know, your own prowess, your own skill, not relying on someone else to mess it all up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, that's. Honestly, the Muslim is going to be able to make many mistakes to let this game slip away. Like, he's got a solid worker count, he's playing very defensively with these three bunkers, uh, obviously afraid of an all-in, but the Hellions have been scouting, so he should be just salvaging two of these bunkers and get that third up and mining, and then he's just going to be so ahead, you know, on economy from earlier, and he should be able to push through, but, you know, Stefano has made miraculous holes in the past, so we'll have to see how it pans out, but the Muslim in a great spot, for sure. Oh, here goes the push. I like, you know, the, the thing about the extra bunkers, too, it's kind of paranoia, but, I mean, that's, again, you're expecting the Baneling all in as the counter yeah. You're not expecting someone to try and macro their way out of this horrible situation. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, it's, it's a re really rough position to be in, so... 
It's gonna be very hard, but like as we saw, those upgrades I talked about a bit before, that's something you can do. Like you mine with one gas and Stefano, instead of going for the like the early bailingness to break it out, he broke out with the spines, and then all of the gas went into rather quick 1-1 one -one upgrade. So his 2-2 two -two is actually a lot quicker than the Muslims. So that's something that he has going for him. What's really nice too, oh hang on, the attack's coming. I was gonna say uh Stefano might go out of this game here, but it's only game one. This is worth noting. This is going to be a best of three, so he's got some chances to come back. But right now, just the Muslim is in such a good spot. We got a big links around. If there weren't the Hellions, yeah. maybe this works. Maybe. But not going to be the case. Even with 1 1, does force the pick up, and the Muslim gets away somewhat unscathed. Yeah. Yeah, big thing there. The links had 1 1, and the Marines didn't. So that's, uh, you know, the links were doing really well there. But now the yeah, upgrades even. are going to stabilize. Yeah. yeah. Uh, needs to really force a fight near a spine crawler. These Hellions are too much trouble. Does kill up the Hellions, which is nice, but still the army supply is so heavily in the favor of the Muslim. Yeah, the Muslim is uh, making a lot back at home. Uh, <laughs> you know what, baiting though? is really late. It's late, and it's silly that he's even getting away with anything. But if we're gonna be honest, if there's like one guy who's crazy enough to come back from this situation, it's gonna be Stefano. And yeah. right now he's holding really well for the incredibly awful army he has compared to what the Muslims got available to him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's like he's been doing it pretty well. Like he did over drone. Like a lot of sir. If you look at his main, he's got ten drones of minerals. At his third, fifteen drones of minerals, and the sixth has just been taken out. So he's made like just enough drones while still being able to hold off the pressure of the Muslims. So he didn't completely over drone and die to the medimac move out. So. He's done a good job of uh, balancing units and workers. And let's not forget the Banelings finally giving into play. This was something he needed a while ago, but unfortunately, the Muslim didn't decide to go for those Widow Mines. He went for Hellbats instead, so these Banelings are not going to be nearly as effective. I yeah. think if the Muslim had gone Widow Mines, this is a situation where Stefano could have much easy, you know, easily won. But look at this split out of the Muslim. Look at that spread. Yeah. Can't connect to anything, and what he connects with gets healed up immediately. Stefano loses everything in one terrible engagement. There's five Mutalisks on the way, but there's too many Marines for those Mutalisks to deal with. Yeah. Oh, the Hellbats! Oh. Oh, yeah, and there were no bailing speed on the way either, so of course, slow bailings. It's hard to trade well with them. <laughs> that is true, but game number one is going to go to the Muslim, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a yeah. Stefano fan, channel your good mojo and your energies. Hell, if you're a Muslim fan, you better be rooting for Stefano this game, because it'll give you game three, which means more to Muslim. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.